marketing and I'm here today showing you guys how to set up some really cool automation sequences inside of Active Campaign. Uh, and you could do this in a variety of different platforms. I'm going to show you an Active Campaign because it's one of our favorite tools here for marketing automation, um, as well as I'm going to show you a couple other cool tools that we really like. Um, for an onboarding process, for example. So today I'm going to be walking you guys through an automation sequence after a customer onboards, and um, I hope this helps you guys. So first thing I want to show you guys is this really great software called Handwritten. Handwritten is a software that will actually uh, write a card for you uh, using robots with a little, you know, and you can choose from different types of fonts. Uh, I'd highly recommend reaching out to these guys and having them send a sample pack so you guys can get a feel for all the great fonts that they offer. Uh, and then they have a variety of different cards. Uh, you guys also can upload your own custom card for a certain price, and they will actually send it out for you with the card, the postage, and everything mailed from you uh, to really kind of give it that extra personal touch in your automation experience. So I'm going to walk you guys through how we would do this internally in our system. So I'm going to hop over to sales, uh, uh, our sales dashboard over here at Active Campaign and go into automations. And um, here we go. So I'm going to just, uh, this is our on existing online sign up automation campaign sequence we have set up. So when somebody subscribes to this list, Wingman, which is our small business product, uh, we start doing a couple different things. We post their contact info, uh, we notify people. Um, there's a variety of different things. So what I want to guys want to show you guys do is basically how to do it. If we added a new tag, so I'm going to click new automation. We'll start from scratch. And the first thing it's going to ask you is how somebody is going to enter it. So I'm going to say whenever somebody gets a tag, so I'm going to just click tag is added, continue. And for today's sample, I'm just going to use, um, test tag. And I'm going to copy that. So I have it here and it runs multiple times and I'm gonna click add start. All right, the next thing it wants to do is ask you what you want it to do. Um, you could have it do a variety of different things. You know, a great onboarding experience might come out with an email that welcomes them. Um, it might send them a text message. You might email somebody internally to let them know that, hey, we've got a new customer. Um, in this case, I'm gonna just show you guys kind of how this card looks. So we're actually gonna to go to um, something called a webhook right here. We'll choose that. And it's going to ask us what the URL to post to is. So that's when we're going to come over to Zapier. So here we're going to make a zap. And in Zapier, it allows you to connect different applications to kind of talk to each other. So um, I'm going to just search immediately for Active Campaign, which I've already got right there. And it's going to ask us when we want to have it, you know, create this trigger. Well, you don't see it on this main list. So I'm going to click Show Less Common Options. And then boom, you'll actually see one right down here called New Automation Webhook. Click save and continue. It's going to ask me which account. I'm going to go with the wingman account here today. Save and continue. And then it gives us a um, uh, uh, the actual webhook URL. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to make sure I have it. And I'm going to just paste that in there. Click save. And now that that's done, essentially this, this automation sequence is done. And again, we could add a variety of different things here. Uh, you know, emails, texts, uh, internal uh, notifications, you know, all those things. So right now we're going to just name this. I'm going to call it test um, uh, onboarding. It's all today. <laughs> um, letter. We'll save it as that. Um, so once that's done over here, and, and it's important you kind of do it in this order. So once we paste that here, in order to test it, if I click OK, I did this, it's going to want to test it. Um, and immediately you'll notice that it's going to just kind of sit here for a while because it's not going to find that URL. So we're going to just quickly come over here. I'm going to go to my contacts. And I'm going to just use my, my name personally. And I'm going to add a new tag. So I scroll down to that contact. There's my tags. Test dash. You know what? I, I've probably forgotten it by now. So let's go back over here real quick. It's easy. You've, if you do this back to your automations, um, we've got our test. Um, let's just quickly find it. It's probably on the second page here. There's our test onboarding letter. Do you want to make sure we turn this on? So active, and it's test dash tag. That's what we've got here. So back over to our contacts. Search my name quickly. Click 
click on that scroll down to our tags and I'm just gonna click test dash tag and now that it does that if I come back over to to uh, Zapier you'll notice that boom because it was able to take that contact and push the API uh, the uh, webhook URL that's how you can see that it showed up right there so now we've done that you click continue and you're going to choose the second app you want it to do. So now we're going to choose handwritten. This is for our letter. And we're going to have them send a card, save and continue. There's our account, save and continue. And you'll have you'll have set this up um, you know, in the beginning using your handwritten account you've set up. And now you can pull all the information in. So sender name, there's my name. Uh, and actually sender name is going to be me, so I want it to come from myself. Uh, sure, I'll have it come from our company name as well. Sender address line, it does need this. I'm gonna just go with its address here. And then recipient's name. This is where we can actually pull all that information in straight from active campaigns. There's first. Um, now this is gonna be on the card, so I wanna make a space and I want the first and the last name to be there. So there's that. Um, I'm going to want the business name. No, not today. Address. Yeah, probably so. And so in here, um, there would be, so like there we have the whole address. Right now, mine doesn't have the individual address set up in this specific contact. So one of the things you'd want to do is just make sure that your contact is set up um, with all of these items. Recipient address one, two, city, state, zip code, etc. Um, another thing we could do to quickly get all this information in for the testing purposes here is we're going to just go back to the test step and we want it to retest it so that it can pull all that info again. So I'm actually going to go over into the system and I'm going to go to my contacts and I think I actually have a contact that this is all set up for. So let's just quickly look. And let's look at that information. Yep, we've got a whole address in there, state, all that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that same tag, test-tag. And what that's going to do is it's going to populate that. Whoops. I want to actually take that out. We're going to retest. Okay, I did this. As that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and add that tag in again, test dash tag. Now that it's added over on Zapier, test successful. And we're going to just make sure that we got everything we needed. Perfect. So that time it looks like we got all those lines of the addresses that we needed. So click continue. And so now as we go into handwritten card, you'll actually see that we will actually have all the info we need to pull the full address. So here we've got first, last name. The address, we're going to have line one. I'm going to just scroll to that line. There's line one. Line two. Um, there's no data there. And what you're going to do is you're going to just finish completing all that. The last thing that you're going to want to fill out is you've got the card, which is going to be the card on your account that you've got set up with your um, handwritten account. You're going to have a writing style. This is where you're going to choose the different types of uh, handwriting. I personally like uh, Reliable Ryan. Choose that, Reliable Ryan. You put your message in. So the cool thing about here is, again, you've got merge tags. So you can choose hello, uh, first name, um, super, we are super excited to be working with you on a new website. Um, enjoy the Starbucks gift card you've included. Thank you, Beefy team. And the great thing about this is, right here you'll notice that they've got gift card denominations and handwritten will actually put a, a, a gift card in your envelope and your card for you. Now they do charge a fee, so you'll see here if I wanna put a, a $5 Starbucks card, it's actually gonna be $7.95, that's with their fee, okay? And then this is again the credit card that you're gonna use from your account to pay for all of that. So 
um, sorry, so up here, the card that we wanted to choose was the cards that they offer. And they've got a, they've got a bunch. One of my favorites is the craft. Thank you. Um, they've got a ton though, you know, based on birthdays. Um, you know, again, you can have your custom one that you've loaded into the system. Uh, you know, there, there's a million. So I, I want to go with for today's purposes, I'll just go with that craft. Thank you. And once all this information's in and you save this, the great thing is anytime a contact, you add that hash, you know, that, that uh, tag to that client, you are actually going to uh, know that that customer is actually going to um, get a letter, a personal letter in the mail that looks like it's handwritten from you, which is really awesome. So I want to kind of back up and walk you through kind of what our automation experience looks like for our customers because I think it'll really kind of give you an example of how this could really be put in place in your business. So for us, once a client has actually launched a new website for us, we have a uh, our project managers tag that customer with launched. That's the tag we add. When that happens, it notifies um, our one of our uh, customer success managers, Kara. Her job is to just know that, hey, we've got a client who just launched. Awesome. It's automatically going to send them an email that says, hey, um, we want to schedule a pizza party for you to celebrate the launch of your project. And then what it'll actually do at that same time is it will post that information to that hook to send out that card. Now, I'm going to change this a little bit. And it's important that I show you that now because I think it's really cool like how I want to do it instead. So I'm going to take it out of here. So I'm going to delete it here. Are you sure? Yes. And right now, I want it to wait for three days. And what's going to happen is if I didn't respond as the customer to the pizza party invite, it's going to notify Kara so that Kara can reach out personally, phone call, email, et cetera. If she does do it, she's going to know it. If the client does respond, she's going to go ahead and tag them party scheduled. So it'll actually send another email out that says, hey, you know, We'd love to have you uh, share on social media. Uh, again, we thank you for your business. And then I say, wait for two weeks. And this is actually where I want that web hook to go. And you might go, well, like, why would you want to do that? Like, why, like, what's the purpose of that? In our case, what we want to happen is after somebody launches a website, they've had their pizza party, we've celebrated with them, we've celebrated that experience. Two weeks later, we're actually going to send them a card with a gift card and invite them to um, send us a referral or to leave us a review, but it's gonna come in the format of a personal written card. And this is just so cool because it really does take your your onboarding experience to the next level, um, which is great because everything is so digital now. This is an incredible way to just kind of make everything more personal, but it's still automated in a way that allows you to focus on uh, your existing customers and your relationships and your business. Um, additionally, <clears throat> if you partner with the handwritten team, they will actually, um, stuff the cards for a small fee with other items. So for example, when we do it, we're actually going to have them put the Starbucks gift card as well as five of our business cards. So it makes it really easy for our customers to share um, our company with other people. So hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to uh, help you out. And I know that this was kind of a bit of a ramble, but uh, you know, I know that there's a lot of amazing stuff you can do with Active Campaign and and Zap. You're utilizing a million integrations that they have available. So hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks.